Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Boom Impact Bluetooth speaker. I have only a couple of Boom headphones and Bluetooth speakers and I've had a pleasant experience with most of them except with their Boom S10 truly wireless earphones. So let's see how this one turns out. So let's dive in into the unboxing real quick. The speaker comes well packaged with some foam to protect the speaker when it's being shipped. So right here we have a small box that most likely contains the accessories. So it comes with the usual instruction manual detailing all its features. It also has a micro USB cable for charging and a 3.5mm aux cable to use with the speaker when you don't want to use Bluetooth. This speaker is running for $70 on Amazon at the time of this review and I'll leave the link in the description in case you want to pick it up. The speaker weighs in at 560 grams which is equivalent to 1.23 pounds. So it's a heavy speaker but still very compact to be portable for most people. It has an almost unique design which looks nice and incorporates a durable fabric with hard rubber to give it a rugged experience. On the top you'll find the NFC spot where you can tap your phone on for quick repairing. Next to that is the mode button to pick between the indoor and outdoor setting. Then right next to that is a microphone followed by the multifunction power button to play, pause music and answer or decline a call. Then there is a free wheel you can spin to raise or lower the volume which is neat. Below this flap which is very difficult to open is the micro USB input and aux input. It's nicely sealed since the speaker has an IPX4 rating for water resistant. So it's resistant against spills but it's not submergible like some other more expensive speakers out there. On the side here, the rubber feet are coming off, so the adhesive on my unit was not put on well, which is not a big deal since I was able to pop it back in and it's stuck in. Now moving to the mini touch display, you can skip tracks by simply swiping left or right, and it only works when you swipe. So now let's power it on and get it paired up. This is using Bluetooth version 4.1 and I will be connecting it using the NFC function. So you just tap it here and you will get a prompt to pair it. So it's a very simple process. Inside the speaker rests two 12 watt drivers which is loud, in the indoor mode the bass is more noticeable but the sound doesn't appear to be quite balanced when watching movies, the bass feels a bit overpowering making it difficult to listen to people talking at times, in the outdoor mode the bass gets reduced and the pitch of the volume increases while making it clearer and it feels more balanced. So that's the mode I use when I watch movies. Now listening to music is way better and the bass is great on both. So here's a quick sample of me switching between both modes. You can barely notice the difference on my camera but it's more noticeable in person. The speaker retains a strong Bluetooth connection within 15 feet, so that's good. Taking calls on it is surprisingly clear, but when using Google Assistant through the speaker, there's some low static noise on my unit, so just keep note of that. Now, the battery life on the speaker is decent. You can get up to 7 to 8 hours of music playback time at 50% of volume on its built in 4000 mAh rechargeable battery. The thing that sucks is that it doesn't have any type of fast charge and it charges on 5 volts to 1 amp, so it takes the speaker about 4 to 5 hours to get a complete charge and it can still play while it's charging, so that's a good thing. My overall judgment on this speaker for the price is a 7 out of 10. It could have had a longer battery life with the 4000 milliamp battery. The JBL Flip 4 gets 12 hours on a 3000 milliamp battery, but then again the JBL Flip 4 has a 60 watt driver and the Boom has a 24 watt driver. The JBL is a more trusted brand than the Boom since it's not as popular and the JBL Flip 4 runs for $100 and the Boom runs for $70, so you are saving $30 if you go with the Boom but you don't get the submergible speaker like on the Flip 4, but you get a relatively loud speaker. Alright guys, so this completes my review and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.